Welcome back to the Alphabet of Heat. My name is Boss. I'm a gardener and a lover of all things spicy. Today we are on letter J or Jamaican hot chocolate. A is for Antep and Z is for Zing. Got 24 more that'll grow in between. They say the spice of life is variety. That's why we're growing so hard on the Alphabet of Heat. Boss Bruce. Letter J. So this is a cool pepper. I'm a little upset that the plant has been very stingy. It's given me one pod so far. One, this beautiful specimen here. I waited about two days too long, so it's starting to get a tiny bit soft on the back here, but I'm not really worried about this. Most of it's still good and firm. It should taste great. It's gonna hurt. Uh, so Jamaican hot chocolate is, I believe, some sort of a habanero cross originally, not really known as far as I could find, uh, but it, is going to be hot, I'm sure of that. My guess is three to 500,000 Scoville heat units. I'm hoping it tastes good. Uh, chocolate habanero can be pretty delicious, but also whew, they burn. Let's take a look at the plant real quick. All right, so you can see at transplant time, the plant already was looking pretty healthy, lots of good growth. Um, it bushed out a little bit, got to about a foot and a half tall, and it put on its first pepper. You can see that nice looking little guy there. That remained the only pepper. Um, it took until about August to actually get ripe like this and that nice pretty brown color. So that's the plant. Here's the singular first pepper so far. I'm hopeful that it'll put on more now that I've picked this. And I might have to finish it in the garage once we start having too cold a weather in October, but we'll see. Let's slice it open. I'm not gonna eat the whole thing. I do have stuff to do today. <laughs> well, let's take a quick look inside. man that's gorgeous so hopefully that's in the camera and in focus and beautiful there because what a great color that's really nice it's got almost a red yeah this is gonna hurt you can smell the intense um, definitely chinense once you smell it. Little bit floral, smelling awesome. Awesome looking pepper. I, I don't have anything to drink down here. Three seeds in that whole pod. Three seeds. I guess the only thing left to do is to take a taste. I am 100% confident this is going to burn like crazy. Jamaican hot chocolate, alphabet of heat, letter J. Very earthy, smoky, still floral, <clears throat> tastes like a chinense. Very little sweetness, the heat's building pretty quickly. It's a medium sharp burn, spread across my tongue pretty fast. <clears throat> Every swallow hurts, just carries the cap oil down. I only bit off like this tiny little bit here. My face is starting to warm up, so definitely feeling the heat easily hotter than your typical orange habanero. Not by a ton though. The more it burns, the flavor is actually staying pretty consistent. Very, when you breathe out, you get that really um, smoky, earthy, chocolate pod flavor. I don't know, if you've not had chocolate habanero, chocolate ghosts, you might not know what I mean, but this is very much on par with those, flavor-wise. Heat-wise, it's definitely not as hot as the Chocolate Ghosts that I had last season on Taste of Pain. I still have nightmares about those things. Those were brutal. But, flavor-wise, very similar. Almost peaking on the heat now. My forehead got a tiny bit damp there, and that was just a tiny bite, right? These are gonna be great in sauce. I really, 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 really hope I get more of them because I didn't grow much as far as chocolate varieties this year. These are the flavor I love in a chocolate sauce. So, not chocolate sauce, but it, you know what I mean. Anyhow, I'm rambling because I'm hot. I'm probably gonna wrap this up. We will see you on the next episode of The Alphabet of Heat. We are making our way through. I will see you very soon. Make sure you subscribe, hit the bell. You won't miss another episode. Peace.
Should I have chocolate milk now? 